Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. Sprite Castle. With Rob O'Hare. Sprite Castle. Hey, welcome everybody to another episode of Sprite Castle Plays, the video series in which we play and talk about Commodore 64 games. My name is Rob Flack O'Hara, and uh, this is a bye week on Sprite Castle Plays. This is a week where I am not releasing an episode of Sprite Castle. This is going to be a you don't know Flack a week, which means we get to play either something from the archives, uh, either something that was previously reviewed on Sprite Castle, or something uh, that has not been reviewed at all on Sprite Castle. But, um, I'm trying to do ones that I previously did for two reasons. One, because it kind of uh, backfills that content uh, back before I was doing uh, these videos. And two, if I do one that hasn't been done on Sprite Castle, I may do it someday on Sprite Castle. And then that would be no good. So uh, on this week, we are going to be playing Law of the West. And so let me uh, get things in town. You know... <clears throat> There's this interesting thing going on over here. Uh, there's a microphone, there's headphones, there's joystick, there's a main uh, controller, which is also a joystick, uh, and then another set of headphones, and they're all wired to my tower, which is right here. And every time I use them, they get... It's like a long braid. It's like um, Pippi Longstocking's hair. Is that too weird of a reference for this early in the morning? It might be. I don't know. Let's see here. I think we have, yeah, we do have a lot of the West built in or uh, attached, so let's go ahead and get that started. Law of the West uh, is a game from Accolade. I I think um, when I reviewed this, I probably talked about this, but um, one of the, uh, <laughs> I found this very interesting, was when uh, Atari, uh, when Activision was formed, um, the the developers, one of the reasons they picked the name Activision was because alphabetically it came before Atari. So if you were looking through a list of things alphabetically, you would find Activision uh, before you found Atari. And then eventually uh, the fellows that split off uh, from Activision and formed Accolade uh, picked Accolade because it came before Activision. <laughs> so it's it's funny we're one step away from uh, let's enable fast loader for this game. There's a lot of loading in Law of the West. You cannot be shot. No, that's no fun. Um. Uh. Yeah, I feel like we're just one level away from you know. A A A plumbers. <laughs> A A A programs. Uh, so here we have uh, Law of the West. Now, if you've never seen or played Law of the West, Law of the West uh, is uh, presented from a, I guess you would say, a first-person point of view. Uh, and it goes through uh, uh, multiple cycles. I wouldn't say it's um, days, I don't think. I think it's different hours. So that's us there. We're the new sheriff on the left. Um, and this is uh, the town here. And what's going to happen is... Uh, at each stage of the way, someone's going to come out for us to interact with, and uh, they'll say something to us, like this guy's about to come say something to us. You the sheriff of this stake in town? And then we have uh, options down there. Now, you see that guy running in the background there? There's a tiny little sprite. Let me make this bigger here for you. Uh, there's a tiny little sprite in the background, like of people, like those horses, and if I draw my gun, Notice they run away. <laughs> and uh, the guy, he gets ready to draw too. Uh, but I have four choices here. I'm gonna, yeah, son, and it's a pretty nice town. That's a terrible accent. I am f literally from Oklahoma, and I do a bad Western accent. Uh, yes, may what can I do for me? What, uh, sorry, what? <laughs> I'm tongue twied. Tongue twied this early in the morning. I haven't had, I uh, only had one cup of coffee. Uh, what's it to you, punk? And you got a burr under your saddle, boy. And so depending on what you respond here, uh, will set the tone for the rest of the conversation. So I can come off kind of a wimp. Uh, I can come up as non-confrontational here. I can, 
uh, you know, really just go for the right here. Got it. Yeah, you want to make something of it, and then uh, so I can push this and try to get him. Now, if I do, uh, you know, basically set him off where he's going to shoot me, I can only draw my gun. Uh, well, if I want to get the most points after, you know, basically a gunfight has has started. Like I could shoot this guy right now, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> that's not really advisable. Uh, so I can say it's my job, idiot. You know, which is going to provoke him. Yeah, you got your gun where your mouth is. That's going to provoke him. Or I could say, why don't you just ride out of town? I'll just say, hey, why don't you put your gun where your mouth is? And then he's going to say, I think I will. So I better draw quickly. Oh, he wasn't ready yet. I could say, I've killed 20 men. What's one more? My deputy's right behind you. I didn't really mean it. Well, quit John and let's draw. Well, let's just provoke this guy here. You first, Sheriff. Boom. Oh, got him. He says he wouldn't lose, but he did. Look at that. Just a pile of meat in the middle of Main Street there. So now we go to another uh, scene. Now there is, um, uh, you can see the stagecoach here. And, and uh, this lady, um, depending on how you uh, play the game, can give you some clues. This game has great music. Each scene has a different little song here, obviously. Uh, this is, uh, I can't remember if this is Rose or Belle. I forget what her name is, but... Uh, Get off the street, you painted Jezebel. So if you're mean to her, she's not going to give you a hint later that there's about to be a bank robbery, which you need that heads up uh, to uh, capture the bank robbers. Uh, you can say, how's the saloon business going? Business is fine, except for the Daltons. And then we can say, well, what can I do to help? Are they planning something? That might be a good thing to ask. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, Sheriff. You could say you could protect her, um, force it out of her. That's probably not going to work. This is not nice. So um, this is, uh, you know, we'll say, oh, I'll protect you. Okay, and they're going to rob the stage. So she tells you this, and then uh, that's information uh, that you will lose or use later in the game. Now, uh, if you remember when I, I started this game, uh, I uh, a few seconds later, look, there they are. Oh, he shot me. I didn't get to shoot him. See that blood? I got blood on my arm. Well, that stinks. Ah, oh, the sheriff's been shot. Now the uh, doctor uh, hopefully will come patch me up so I can continue playing. Uh, but um, if you are later in the game... Uh, oh, no. The doctor's not in town. <laughs> That's bad for me. Game over. And so these are the things that uh, you're trying to earn in the game. If you go listen to the podcast, I go into a lot more detail. But you can see here that I got, I got, I killed one guy, uh, and uh, that's the little tombstone. And I shot, I got shot. You can see that there. And then I've got two, uh, the little law badges, and then I got some money there. So my score is 46. It's not a very good score. I didn't get very far. I think there's. 10, if you go all the way through, there's 10 uh, or maybe 12 choices. Um, I haven't listened to that podcast in a long time. So, uh, now this, uh, all this, uh, loading that you're seeing right there. I mean, so this is the level that's loading. It shows the graphic here and then it's going to load. And, and, um, I don't know, we could kind of watch here and uh, see how long this loads. I mean, there's five or 10 seconds, not too bad. Uh, but without the fast loader, some of those, I mean, take like 30 seconds to a minute to load. And so if you're in a, a scene like where she tells you that the bank robbers are coming, uh, they say, yeah, it's a pretty nice town. Uh, I think I'm going to love it here. Uh, I don't get any ideas, low life. Who are you calling a low life? You, you stinking polecat. <laughs> that was fighting words. Oh, he shot. He shot at me. Oh, get him. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to. I shot him in the crotch. Well, that didn't go well. You can get through that first uh, stage without uh, shooting that guy, but it's not much fun. Um, you'll also notice uh, there are some people here like... Uh, like this lady, if I draw my gun right here, uh, 
Yeah, see, she won't, she won't come talk to me until I put my gun away. The, uh... I remember playing this on the Apple II. I think I probably had this on the Apple II before I had it on the Commodore, right around the same time. And, um... Uh... The, uh... The, the graphic, the presentation of this was so unique at the time. Like, I don't remember any other game that uh, showed, you know, I mean, it gave this impression, uh, yeah, the pan kind lady. <laughs> uh, is there anything you want? <laughs> anything you want, sweetie? Ah, uh, I ran her off. So, see, uh, stuck up wench. <laughs> Uh, so that there's nothing I can do at this point. Get on your way. No woman talks to me that way, or I could just laugh at her. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I'll say no woman talks to me that way, pilgrim. I do try and stop me. Well, I could. I mean, I literally have a loaded six shooter. You want me to shoot her? I'll shoot you. Oh. <laughs> oh well. So now the thing is, she's not going to tell me about the bank robbery. Um, and so uh, I wouldn't have any heads up of that uh, happening. Oh, no, this guy. Uh, I mean, you can tell by the music this isn't a nice guy. Of course, she's walking out holding a gun, too, right there. Hey, Gringo, I heard you got a fast draw. Not me. I don't really like good fights. I mean, I just shot a lady in cold blood. Well, then it looks like I'm in luck. I think I'll go check out the bank now. See, there's the bank. The bank uh, can get robbed. I will fight through. If I ha I will fight, though, if I have to. Boy, my, my reading is off this morning. Uh, why don't you go play some poker, then? Well, well, what do you mean by that? Well, I'm the, uh, I came here came to rob the bank, you coward. Well, then I must arrest you. Oh, please do it. <laughs> But don't hurt me. Don't make me shoot you. The bank has three armed guards. All right, I'm going to try to intimidate this guy a little bit. Thanks for the warning. Oh, well, that's not good. Eh, I could shoot him in the back there. That's not not going to get you a lot of good score. All right, so now we got to wait and see what happens here. At the, the old, well, we'll come back to the bank later. But what would happen is, you know, these loading times in between each level were so long without this, this updated version that somebody's put a fast loader thing am hey there's the doctor and uh so what would happen is he would say something like hey i'm gonna rob the bank and then it would load for a minute and you would just be daydreaming looking off doing something else and uh then all of a sudden the game would pop up and they would be robbing the bank and shoot you and you, you wouldn't be ready for it there so uh let's go see here killing more people lately sheriff my aren't we hungover now you want to be this guy's friend because as you saw earlier if you haven't made friends with him he won't save you uh, in case you get shot, you know, so you say, well, Doc, so you, you try to play off the fact that uh, you've shot people here. Uh, there are walkthroughs. No. Uh, yeah. There are walkthroughs that will tell you, like, the uh, what choices, every choice you should pick, because it's not random. I mean, the uh, each choice that you pick here uh, leads to a, a set number of uh, responses. Uh, yes, I know, but I hate to see the ways you and me both. I dream of them, the ones I've killed. God, that's a little dark. Let's go with that. <laughs> yeah, you just can't forget them. Bye. <laughs> the Old West must have been a fun time. Two guys, two grizzled men meeting in the street. Uh, and they would just go, uh, I dream of the... The body's left behind. Bye! <laughs> oh, there's some sound. Now, this guy's carrying a rifle. He just walks out of the saloon with a rifle. He's coming to visit here. Oh, and he's a lefty. Hey, I like my new shotgun. Now, I know this guy. Now, see that stagecoach in the background? If you raise it, they'll run off real fast. There's also, you see people walking. I'll try and catch a person here in a minute. Uh, you go, oh, see, there's a kid running. They run the other way. Uh, you go, well... That the new Remington gauge? It's right pretty, son, but put it away. So you're trying to gain the right points here. Uh, oh, come on, Sheriff. Just bought it. 
Uh, I just bought it and then went to the saloon to have a drink, and now I'm carrying it around. What's the problem with that, Sheriff? Uh, drop it right there. I'm sorry. You'll have to put it away. You know, gosh, you're just going to have to put that loaded rifle away. Put it away or I'll take it away. All right, you can keep it out. <laughs> That's not going to get you Sheriff points there. I'm sorry. you have to put it away. Oh, gee. I ain't going to do it. You're not giving me any choice. I could just say, please, I'm the nice sheriff today. Please put it away. Mate me. Well, oh no, I was going to shoot him in the crotch, but uh, you got me. I like how the blood appears right there in the arm. Um, oh my God, the sheriff's been shot. Now I was just nice to the doctor. He's just lying there. He ain't moving. Oh, that's my impersonation. <laughs> quick someone get the doctor stand back folks let the doctor through so I've already been you know I got the reward of uh, being nice to the doctor mm, let's see how badly he's hurt you'll be okay it's only a flesh wound it's only a flesh wound <laughs> that was a bad accent <laughs> it's, a, it's just a scratch I've cut your arm off <laughs> You know, there was a time when you couldn't possibly work in IT and not know every line of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And as uh, uh, people coming into uh, IT get younger and younger, I guess that went away. I guess they don't quote. Uh, it was really uh, Monty Python and uh, Beavis and Butthead. And, like you just couldn't get out of work for a single day without quoting one of those. I've got a secret I won't tell. Uh, hey, Willie, would you like some candy? Uh, so you can't ask him directly, he won't tell you. Is it an important secret, Willie? Oh, golly, yes. Come on, please tell me. Now, we're standing in front of the bank, so I can, uh, guess what his secret's going to be. Is it about gunslingers? Out with it or I'll thrash you. Is it about gunslingers? Yes. All right. Well... You little brat. Are they coming to get me? Is someone planning to stick up? Yeah, they're going to rob the bank. So that's your heads up, right? Oh, come on, Willie. Get out the way. Move. Get out the way. A few seconds later. Oh, I got him. <laughs> See, he was robbing the bank. And, uh... If I hadn't got that tip from Willie, I wouldn't have known that was coming. So that will uh, help my score immensely later on. Now back at the train station. These are interesting style graphics. Um, you know, if you uh, look at the colors, the, the perspective is, is interesting. Uh, I, mean, I just love these backgrounds. And of course, um, well, hello there, Sheriff. Now this is a uh, school teacher, Miss April. Yes, what may I do for you? Hello, Miss April. We'll be nice to her. Unless she mouths off, then I'll shoot her. <laughs> I'm just that kind of sheriff. I'm not taking no crap in this town. Uh, God, I hear there's a hoedown tomorrow. I'd like to go with you. Yuck, <laughs> dancing. <laughs> uh, so I say, I'd love to go with you. Well, I'd be most honored. Uh, oh, I forgot. I can't make it. <laughs> A jerk. Uh, when may I call for you? Oh, I was going to say, can I call you? But I don't guess she has a phone yet. Uh, a courting and a sparking. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. Slow down, mister. I've changed my ran her off. Well, no hold down for you. Maybe that'll show you. There's a little sparking. <laughs> About some lead in your booty. It's not going to help my score. Not a recommended maneuver if you're trying to get a high score in this game. And, uh... uh it's funny how... I, mean, I don't know when the last time I played... I, obviously, I played this for... Uh, whenever I did this uh, episode of Sprite Cast a long time ago. and Probably I didn't play, I play it, uh, you know, before then. I don't know. I mean, it might be 10 or 20 years. But it's funny how these tunes... 
stick with you, you know. Like you just remember every note, you know. Those boys sure can't play poker. Uh, you're just too good for them. Yep, I know the odds and they don't. Odds are someday you'll get shot. <laughs> I can take care of myself. Uh, not against 10 to 1 odds. Alright, yeah, maybe you should. Instead of getting me to shoot you. You know, I just shot the school teacher. <laughs> who, moments before, I was taking to a dance. <laughs> so, I wouldn't try me if you're a poker player. Those are not good odds. Odds are I will shoot everybody in this game eventually. We're going to try to make it here to the end of the game. Um, you know, the um, biggest problem with this game, and uh, I'm sure I mentioned this on the uh, podcast, is that, uh, number one, oh, it's my deputy. Uh, but I'm around. Don't get up any with me. I should ask you that question, deputy. Where have you been? I had to shoot the gold darn school teacher. I've been watching the bank. Well, I just shot a bank robber earlier, so you weren't doing too good of a job. Uh, you're lying. You've been drinking? <gasps> no, of course not. <clears throat> I could smell. You're fired, deputy. I don't know what the repercussion of firing him. He may save me. Uh, well, that didn't. This seems like uh, something I might want to keep him around uh, for later. But anyway, uh, what I was going to say is that uh, the uh, problem with this game is that there's only X amount of uh, interactions, you know. Um, and so once you learn what the optimal uh, choices are for each one, then that's it. So there's no real random uh, randomization. Uh, there's no real... Uh, it's a very short game, actually, to play. Well, if it ain't the Tan Horn Sheriff, it's cattle rustling. Uh, howdy, Bill. Nice seeing you again. We need a school teacher. If you're, uh, I don't know what your credentials are. Oh, and your attitude. Well, I'm just trying to be polite. Well, so I shot you. I missed, didn't I? <laughs> Look at that one. Guess I was in the wrong. All right, well, can we be friends? I'm glad you realized that. Yep, I'm going to have to arrest you. Oh! Don't do it again, woman. I think uh, you can't tell me what to do. Is she going to shoot me? Oh, she was. Oh, well. I, You know, I, one person uh, you don't uh, get to see in this game is the Undertaker because plenty busy in my town. <laughs> Somebody's digging, digging a, uh, a lot of holes. Uh, did I see this? No, this is a different guy. Oh, this guy's hard. Maybe he's got two guns. You're the sheriff here, aren't you? Nope, I'm only the deputy. <laughs> Let's not get into that, sir. No, you're the sheriff, all right. Well, you called my bluff. Ha, ah, just funning you. Just just making a little light joke here before you, we uh, kill each other. Uh, nope, the sheriff's out of the bank. <laughs> uh... I think I'll be moseying along now. <laughs> I'm just going to say, ah, ha, ha. Just funning you. It wasn't funny. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I thought it was pretty funny. Draw. Oh. 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 Right in the face. Congratulations. You made it to sunset. So I guess it is just one day. One day here as a member of the law in the west your final score is 1430 all right uh so you can see i shot four people uh there's uh, i got shot once and there's two tombstones i assume that's for shooting people that i shouldn't have shot uh, i got some money there and look at all those stars i got now there's something that i didn't get at all i think maybe that's a love meter uh maybe in there that i didn't get anything of uh but that's the whole game. We, you, congratulations. You have, uh, I wouldn't say beat Law of the West. You just made it to um, sundown. But that is uh, that is Law of the West. And then uh, the game will start over. And we may go through a few more scenarios here and just pick some 
different things just so you can see. Um, but I mean, by the second time that you play this, you can already see that it um, uh, would start to get a little repetitive, right? And so this was the first guy we saw on the last game. And once again, this is the first guy uh, that comes out here. Uh, he asks you the same question. Uh, now, I believe we got in a gunfight with him last time, but we can uh, try to avoid. Let's see if we can avoid a gunfight here. Yep, I think I'm going to love it here. Uh, yes, it could be quite nice here. <laughs> I don't know if there's a, a spineless reward. What would you do if I robbed the bank? Uh, I wouldn't like it. That's true. That's not... I wouldn't like it. Whoa, that's a good one. Um, I, uh, I I like to think sometimes, like, uh, what would a game be like if this came out now? Well, obviously, if it came out now, it would be Red Dead Redemption, right? I mean, you would be able to walk through the town. Obviously, we're not uh, navigating through the town. The game is taking us uh, through these three or four locations let's see you got the, the wells fargo you got the saloon you got the train station uh, is that everything uh so you just have these set locations um another thing is as a kid i remember thinking like how amazing were these graphics that you had a fully animated character but if you notice like when i draw the gun i mean it's just that little part of his arm that's really animated in the gun everything else is is uh, static you know so that's um it's kind of plays a trick especially when you were younger it plays a trick and makes you think that more of the game is animated than it really is i mean 90 percent of what you're looking here 95 percent is a static thing the only thing is you have uh, the, the character you're talking to is a sprite you have the sprite here for you know your arm animation and then that little uh those things that you see passing in the background every now and then um uh, uh, hello, Miss Rose. <laughs> I like the strong, silent type. How'd you like to feel my muscles? I think um, this game might be a little, uh, you know, when we're talking about, um, I've been thinking about this a lot because I just watched, um, uh, <laughs> it picks smelly galoot on the bath last night or last month. Uh, I just watched, um, Bill and Ted 3. And I was talking to a friend of mine and I was saying that before I saw anything about it, I knew that there would have to be changes because you can't take um, the Bill and Ted from the 1980s and pull them into 2020. That movie doesn't work. You have two guys. I mean, uh, at, at bare minimum, you know, there's some uh, homophobic slurs <laughs> that the guys throw out. Uh, there's, um, if you think about it, there's, I don't know that there's any person of color in the first two movies, you know, uh, it's, it's when they want to assemble the world's greatest thing for their, you know, of historic figures, they go get a bunch of white people, you know, and, um, uh, mostly white males. And, and so, um, uh, yep. I'm as fast as they come. I'm going to shoot this guy. Uh, you want to prove that hombre? Me against you, what a laugh. Ha ha. You will pay for your last. Oh, it wasn't time yet. Draw if you dare. Shut up. Yeah. Get out of town, punk. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, so the original, the first two Bill and Ted movies are really a product of that time of the 80s. I mean, that stuff was... Uh, you know, got laughs then, it doesn't get laughs now, you know? And so, uh, looking at a, a game, you know, it just makes me think about uh, a lot of things. Uh, you know, when you review old computer games, you really have to put them in the context of when they were released, right? Like, I can't say, well, I mean, thumbs down, it's no Red Dead Redemption. Well, of course not. I mean, you're working with, uh, you know, an 8-bit computer, and, and this game fits on a single uh, floppy drive. I am going to be nice to this guy, uh... Just uh, in case I do get shot going through this game here. Um, heard any good rumors lately? Yeah, the Daltons are coming to town. What are they coming for? They're going to rob the bank. 
There's the train station. Uh, you know, and there's the saloon. It's kind of interesting that you see the... So it's really the same town, just from a different uh, few seconds later. Oh, they robbed the bank. I didn't get him. So uh, now, at the uh, end of the game, when I get my score on, there'll be less money bags because I didn't uh, stop the bank robbers. But if you take this game, I mean, uh, you know, some of the, the... Obviously, it's kind of a double-layer thing because we're looking at a game from the 1980s, right? But this is a game written about uh, the, the 1880s, really. And so, you know, all this stuff of, like, I mean, it's kind of condescending to women, really. And uh, I guess you do have that Calamity Jane, the, the cattle rustler character a little bit. But, I don't know, it just seems a little sexist. <laughs> uh, and I wonder if that's them trying to reflect the 1880s or if that also reflects a little bit of the 1980s. Um, uh, drop it right on the ground, that new shotgun. Not on your life. Make me. I'm about to make him. Uh, drop it or I'll drop you. Oh, I wasn't ready. Uh, there's another way to settle this. I'll only shoot in self-defense. So this is a nicer. Yep. Oh. I wasn't supposed to shoot. You're supposed to wait for him to draw, but um, I didn't really. I'd like to think that that guy just walked away with a limp because I shot him in the kneecap, and so that someday he'll have a fun story. If there's anybody that really you should uh, shoot that's innocent in this game, it's Willie. <laughs> uh, well, let's get the uh, secret from him. Okay, so let's do this. Scram, Pipsqueak. And so I want to show you. Because last time, up your sheriff, he says to me, oh, that's not nice. Go eat, kid, you bother me. Old W.C. Fields thrown in for good measure. Okay, I'll leave, skunk breath. One of these days I'm going to get you. Neener, neener, neener. So what, you remember last time when I was nice to him, uh, he told me the hint about the uh, bank robbery. Uh, and so uh, now... Or the uh, stagecoach robbery, maybe. Uh, so now you wouldn't get any hint that, that that's coming. Uh, and actually, I may not ever see it. Uh, I feel like I should shoot her again. Like This is like Groundhog Day, where every day she wakes up and a sheriff just innocently shoots her for no reason. She dies a slow, painful death. And um, then wakes up the next day, gets shot again. Uh, you know what? What may I do for you, little miss? Well, you could be a, a bit friendlier. Uh, sorry, I was just preoccupied, Miss April. I guess you do have a lot on your mind. Do much to keep jabbering with you. <laughs> More than I can say about you. Yeah, so see, I already started off on a bad foot, uh, and so I'm not gonna get uh, not gonna get any hearts from her at the end of my score. I might shoot her. Uh, that's too late. <laughs> um, there's the bank and the jail. Maybe this is the yeah. This is a. Uh, Those boys sure can't play poker. Gambling is the devil's way to poverty. I have a tattoo that says that. No, I don't have any tattoos. That'd be a good tattoo, though. Uh, I think you're disgusting. I remember last time, uh, bet I made ten times more money than you. But you don't. <laughs> You're nothing but a civilized thief. You may be right. Da -da 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 -da. I am the sheriff. <laughs> uh, off to the train station here. We're getting close to the end. Uh, so, you know, the thing was, I, I mean, I think um, if you bought this game, and you plunk down whatever this was going for, I'm going to say $30, $35 at the time. 
That's my good for nothing deputy here. Uh, don't get uppity with me, pal. I've had a bad day. I had to shoot the school teacher, for God's sake. Someday I'll be the sheriff. You're worthless. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. It sure can. Uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah, I waited for him to draw first there. News headlines tomorrow. Sheriff shoots deputy after pissing him off. <laughs> yeah, that goes over well. There's a little cattle rustler coming out. Uh, but as you can see, uh, all these characters that we're seeing the second time in the playthrough are the same people that we saw the first time. It's the same order. Uh, they always start off with the same thing if it's the Tin Horn Sheriff. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to try to provoke her. Woman's got to make a living. Uh, see, like this. A woman's place is in the home. <laughs> that doesn't seem very nice. Uh more rustling and I'll come get you. You'll get more than you bargain for. Uh, why don't I take you in right now? Because this might happen. Oh. Well, sorry lady. And so, uh, you know, I guess this is another thing to say is there's really no... Um, there, there is a maximum score that could be got if you if you were to go through each uh, conversation path exactly right and get the exact uh, highest score outcome of each one. Then there is a a maximum score. But you know, if you're just playing this, uh, there's no right or wrong. I mean, I could have let her go. I could have, uh, uh, you know, and and at the end, I would get more law points versus, you know, this. I'm gonna get different uh, amount of points for for shooting her. Uh, what's it to you, punk? I came here to see the sheriff. You're looking at him? That's what I would say in real life. I came here to find... Well, you're pretty cocky. If someone walked into a room and was like, I'm here looking for flack. I would say one of two things. I would say, are you a member of law enforcement? <laughs> <laughs> or I would say, you're looking at him. Uh, I'd say confidently. <laughs> That's kind of a jerk. I've got ten notches in my gun, sucker. I killed three times as many. Oh, you said draw. And then I didn't draw, but then I did draw. He has three times as many. He has 30 notches in his gun. That seems um, destructive. Uh, so look at all those. I got a lot more law enforcement stars. I still didn't make it to the uh, dance with bells, so there's no hearts there. Uh, I killed four bad guys, I killed one innocent person, and I got some money. And my score went up, uh, made it to sunset. This is a dangerous town. Um, I don't, uh, it's, it's weird to think of a, a time in, in uh, our country's history where, uh, as, I mean, I suppose a sheriff is a dangerous job, but th where you would, um, oh, I just banged in everything here. Uh, literally every single person except for Willie in this game and probably Miss April, uh, there's a possibility that they'll kill you. Uh, so that, you know, that's a dangerous job where eight out of 10 people you encounter during the day, you know, I mean, uh, you know, I don't think we're making sandwiches at Subway. Uh, I mean, that might not be people's ideal job, but I don't think eight out of 10 people are going to shoot you. I said foot long draw. <laughs> Banana peppers, not cream peppers. Draw. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, and his subway's on my mind because we had Subway yesterday. <laughs> I've got a Subway cup right here. Anyway, that is Law of the West. So, as you can see, it uh, you know you run through your, your 10 interactions and uh, make it to sundown without getting killed. Or if you do get shot, hopefully you've been nice to the doctor and he will come uh, patch you up and, and uh, get you limping into the sunset here. So, um that's really all there is to Law of the West. It was a, uh, I think a lot of people, oh, look, he's just walking off, I guess, because I left, uh, I didn't interact with him. But uh, it, it was a, a game that was hailed for its great graphics. This is 1985. Um, and uh, the illusion 
that you had the freedom of choice. Although, if you play this game a few times, as you can see, uh, that illusion gets shattered pretty quickly. So, anyway, uh, it's a little playthrough this week for Law of the West. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I want to flip over here to the uh, main screen here and just remind you uh, that if you want to check out uh, my other podcast, go to podcast.robohara.com. You can find all my old episodes there. Uh, if you want to uh, email me, you can find me at robohara at robohara.com on Facebook. I'm at facebook.com forward slash robcast if you want to talk about episodes. You can follow me on Twitter at Commodork. Uh, you can always call the voice mailbox at area code 405-486-YDKF. And I am now a proud member of the Amigos Retro Gaming Network. So if you're a, uh, one of my uh, Patreon supporters, you'll get access to the Amigos Discord where uh, Pixel Guide in and myself and all the followers of the Amigos are all in this Discord talking about uh, retro and vintage games and having a fun time and uh, lots of other cool stuff. If you're one of my 16-bit supporters, you will get access to Rando Rob, which is videos where I point out, you can see this room kind of right now, but I grab interesting things and, and talk about them and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and I will see you next week. But before I go... <laughs> I'm going to shoot a guy in cold blood. Oh, he disappeared. Well, you know what? I really just want to end this game by shooting somebody. A little bit, you're right, sir. <laughs> There was no law in the West. <laughs>